academic principal, Dr. Sister Jacinta Quadros, degree and Indo vice principals, my colleagues, and particularly to all my lovely students. A warm welcome to you all for the 74th Independence Day celebrations. Now I would like to request Ms. Swapna from the Department of Economics to deliver a welcome speech. Good morning to all. Freedom came to us as a gift of our ancestors. Thousands of people lay down their lives so that our country can celebrate this day. Never forget their sacrifices. Let us honor the struggles of invite our corresponding Sister Sleva and beloved principal Dr. Sister Jacinta Quartas to this August gathering. I invite our principal Dr. Sister Jacinta Quartas to hoist the national flag. I request Lieutenant Sailaja to accompany them. Sitta, Sari, 
As we celebrate this special day, the fact that we are just a handful gathered here is another indication of our ongoing battle against the lethal coronavirus, which has disrupted all activities and taken a huge toll. It has altered the world we lived in before the pandemic. On this day, great day of significance, we pay tribute not only to our freedom fighters, but also to COVID-19 warriors, doctors, nurses, health workers, police personnel, and other officials who have been on the forefront of the country's fight against this deadly virus. If our medical personnel are the frontline soldiers in this battle, we are all playing our part and doing our bit in this combat. As educators, let me express my appreciation to the hard work each one of you, my dear faculty, have put in to keep the process of teaching learning going. You have not stopped or stalled in your efforts all through these months. You have equipped yourself with new skills to meet the new normal, to adapt to a new mode, to deliver learning online. And you are doing it very well. As you are aware, it's not only academically that we need to nurture our students. Their mental health in these trying times is even more important. Some of the students have expressed that they miss their teachers, their friends and fun on campus. I would like to tell the students that we do miss you very much on campus. You are lively present, public with life. Dear faculty, it calls for great, great spiritual strength and resilience on our part to show up anxious mind and flagging spirits, both theirs and ours, as we extend that supporting shoulder for our young students to lean on. As teachers, this is the battle we are called upon to fight for our motherland. And I am certain that we will emerge victorious. May the star of the sea be our guide. One day, Matram, Jai Hind. 